There's the man, there's the man. How are you? I'm good, how are you doing? You smell so good. Try it. It's always been that way. It's always that, it's always that. Say that again? You want a child or not? That's good though. You don't, you don't mind it like that? I don't mind that, we just have to use the, the recording. You know what I'm saying? This is coming a bit secondary to me. The champ is here. The champ is here. <laughs> Come on. It's a super seamless option. We're going to improvise. It's game. Good to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get my license. Really cool. I know that too, isn't it? Now, when you're in facing a southpaw, it's the worst thing you can do. Because you throw a right hand at them, you're wide open to their left cross. You're giving exactly. your right hand. As you're throwing it, you feel you're going to be wide open. Yeah. So they're right, you gotta ignore that. You throw twice as many over. Opens it all up. And they know that, they'll play on that. You know, a good southpaw will play on that there. And you're not, you know, they'll see if you're yeah. worried about it, you know, because yeah. you should be as well, because you throw a right hand, you wind up to their left cross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta ignore the keep blocked up, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Throw, yeah. That's what George said. Opens it all up, breaks the area of them up as well. It's all about your front foot position as well when you're when you want that upper extension. So like if, obviously if yeah. As, a, as a south foot, yeah. if John gets on the outside of my front foot, he's got a better angle for his straight right than I've got. My straight left, my left is going over his shoulder, so he's in a better position. So it's all about getting your feet in the right place. Um, obviously, if, if I get my foot in the right place, he's able to do my left cross, and his right cross goes over my shoulder. It's hard for him to get that shot across. So again, it's just a case of getting yourself in the right position to start with. But David's very well aware of that. We've been drilling that for the last few weeks. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't taking the defeat at all on it, which is correct exactly. Of the saying the coaches are saying, they know that. You see, I was just thinking mainly upper body, you yeah, see, trying to yeah, get yeah. into the right hand, you know. Yeah, yeah. But he, George would have said that. He would have been telling me that. I'm going to think about it. Now I would yeah, defeat yeah, yeah. and all the rest of it, you know. But you just. You know, you don't really, uh, you don't think too much about the boxing. You've been doing it since you were a kid. You just do it. Yeah, so yeah. they tell you to do it. You do it. Bang. Yeah. What well, you're thinking about is how to connect. Yeah, know? yeah. And whatever position you're in, you're in. You're thinking about trying to connect. So if you're at that technical thing about being there, quite correct. You know what I mean? But at the same time, you still got to hit them. Yeah. So you could be in the right position and still not connect with them. You know, but you just uh, are in the wrong position. You know, but you just. You gotta trust yourself as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, and the southpaws, a good southpaws, brilliant, you know, because yeah, they're yeah. very technical. They know about you, you've got you on the wrong foot. The, yeah, they, they tend to be southpaws tend to be more technical than orthodox fighters because they've got that advantage with the feet in the first place. They, they, they tend to plan on it and learn yeah. about yeah. it more than orthodox the orthodox. And how connected are you with your trainer in the ring, with Frank? Yeah, I'll stop connected. Frank, I'll stop talking for a few minutes. Do you listen to him? Do you actually, can you hear him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because at mean, Wembley Stadium, it's going to be... It's loud, but I think it's weird because when you're fighting, no matter how loud you are, you kind of choose who you want to listen to. That's it. Yeah, So it could be loud and it could be very loud at it. If I'm kind of like choosing to listen to my corner, I can literally hear them. Yeah. And um, it's a funny thing because we were practicing something in training as well and it's about... Literally putting your position, putting your opponents in certain corners and certain ways, and just to literally hit to hit them with certain shots. So, um, experienced fighters, I can literally back my opponent up into my corner just so I can listen to what my corner have to say, or I can literally deliberately back up into my corner. Like, what did you say? So literally, so I, I can hear them better than if I was to be on the um, opposite side. So, Dave's actually quite good at that. Regularly, will be. You're inspiring. I mean, even over the last five weeks, we're inspiring with Tyson Fury, who's arguably the best heavyweight in the world. And he's sparring, and I'm chatting, and I literally, I don't shut up. Uh, and we'll be having a conversation. He's engaged enough that he'll throw shots, and I'm talking to him and giving him constant feedback. And he'll say, Yeah, I've got it, no problem. I'll have a look for that. Or, yeah. you know, and that's, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Um, that's, a, that's a good position to be. Definitely, because you need. You need a different set of eyes. When I'm in there, there's certain things that that I don't see that the corner men see. I remember I had a fight and I hit the fellow with a right hand, and my corner said, "Go for it, get him out of there, get him out of there." Didn't know why they said it, 
But I heard him and I just did it. Yeah. And then Zoli, after I watched the back, I hit him and his leg wobbled. But because I'm so focused on looking at him, and his leg wobbled, I didn't even realise. But obviously there's a set of eyes outside have seen that his legs are wobbled and they've seen that he's not really there. So they're telling me, put your foot on the gas now. Do you look to finish early when you're in a fight? I think when you do that, you, can to, you, you tend to make mistakes. So you've just got to go out and have fun. And when it comes, it comes. Um, I mean, they're both going to get punched in the mouth anyway. So the shots are going to come. Do you know what I mean? So if I go out and I give myself a sort of time frame, then you kind of start making mistakes because you're looking for certain things. You've just got to go out there, have your fun. I mean, the time's right, the time's right. Mm -hmm. and, um, I mean, you would know. And you kind of know when your opponent's hurt or when you're breaking them down or, you know, when they're still in there or if they've still got a fight left in them. And how is it for you this week? Just wind down, like you said earlier on? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice, easy week. I mean, obviously, like, we're at the back end of, we're at the back end of training camp, which is a time I don't really like because as a professional athlete, you're always, you're always training. Um, but yeah, you're at the back end of a, of a hard few weeks that are almost designed to, to break you. By the end of it, you're done. You know, you're, you've had enough. Mm -hmm. So this week is literally just a complete taper down, a uh, few little light sessions on the pads. David have done a run at the early part of the week, but a uh, reduced rate, that you know, not the sort of pace that you would normally go at. Just keep the muscle systems ticking over. Um, when I've done a bit of S&C yesterday, a little bit of muscle activation, mm -hmm. the, the kind of movements that you're going to be looking to make in the fight, just you know, keep keep the, the nervous system ticking over, um, and just manage your energy level. So make sure you're well hydrated, make sure you're well fed, make sure your muscle energy is high, um, and yeah, just basically take yeah. it easy. Really, go for a, go for a few walks. Um, yeah, Actually, just just tick difficult. over. Yeah. yeah, you know what is actually. The lighter sessions are sometimes harder because you're so used to going hard and so used to like, pushing your heart rate. So sometimes it's like fight week is like, no, we don't want you to go hard. And I'm like, you sure? Like, no, I don't do no more. You want to do more? Are like, you sure? Like, yeah, don't do no more. But um, of course, we're getting used to it. In the amateurs, I used to fight on the weekend and I'd spar two, three days before. And then when I started turning pro, they were like, you're, you're sparring. Um, finishes a week before and I'm like bloody hell I need to spar. Mm -hmm. I remember my debut I fought on a Saturday I sparred on a Monday heavy arms and my coaches were like no nah, you can't do it I'm like I need to but it's only now you're starting to get used to it about you know sparring 10 days out seven days out taking the last week to just kind of rest and recoup and get your energy back and um, I mean like my coach says sparring's not I mean training camp's not meant to break you but it's meant to semi push you over the over the edge I mean I was waking up sore god knows how many days all of us were. Yep. I mean, I'm in camp with the top five of the ranks, top ten in the world. So, I mean, all going, everyone's, I don't want to say egos, but everyone's got pride and everyone's got some sort of honour that they're trying to protect. So everyone's literally going through it and trying to show why they should be there. So, um, it's their stage. It's that, exactly that. So everyone literally was sore and just like, yeah, this is what training camp's all about. You know, um, we're lucky this week. I'm sure John will be able to tell you he would have had to have made the 175 pounds, which oh, yeah. going back then wasn't easy for you. No, so I didn't kill me, but, but yeah, it was, uh, it was it's me fit weight. It was, I, was, uh, I wasn't weak, but uh, I had to. At this stage of the game, cruiser weight would have sorted me. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah we yeah, were yeah. cruiser weight. Was called cruiser 12 and a half still. Yeah, was cruiser yeah, yeah. light heavy. Yeah, but that cruiser between 12 and a half and 14 would have suited me as well. But uh, at fight weight. John would normally be, you'd be you're washing your food now and you're cutting water. We've yeah. got the luxury, we haven't got to do that at heavyweight. You, you, you just oh, yeah. completely chilled out, but he would be sitting there focused on what weight he's going to make on them scales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, yeah, you wouldn't be overeating and be aware of it. Wouldn't be not killing me, you know, strong. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I like heavier because my first 20 fights were heavyweight. Because your first 20 fights were 20 fights were build is heavyweight, yeah. I boxed twice on the Muhammad Ali builds on the he's on, on the card Dublin 72 heavyweight and then Vegas next year when he fought Joe Bugner in Vegas. Me and John H. Tracy were on the bill, world's weight champion of the world, yeah, from Bethlehem Green. And uh, yeah, he introduced me in the ring as heavyweight. Wasn't there I a said, rumour going round that he asked you to stay out of his division? Well, I know I said to him in the ring on a press day before the fight, I said, Muhammad, could you give me some advice, please? He says, yeah, get out of my division. <laughs> <laughs> so I did. I dropped him. I dropped out. He said, that's a strange action you got. He said, where are you from? I said, Liverpool. He said, what state's that in? I said, a lot worse than this place. <laughs> <laughs> he thought it was a state, Liverpool. Yeah. But, uh, 
No, he was great. That was in the uh, yeah, 74, 73, 73. So you would, have, you, would have, you would have been having on the day weighing as well? You'd have oh, yeah, weighed in on the day. On the day yeah, the afternoon. Day, but but yeah, 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 yeah. On the afternoon. Yeah. Used to weigh in. And, uh, that was it. Made, made it. But we were strong. Yeah. Fit and strong, you know. Yeah. It wasn't weak. It wasn't weak at all. But, uh, and that's where the Arthur Stones were great. You mentioned it coming in yeah, yeah. from the full Stones. There was only eight weight divisions at one yeah, time, wasn't it? Yeah. And then he brought the Arthur Stones in, yeah. which was good. Yeah. Different. And there's different times, isn't it? Yeah. And like you're saying, um, there were 15 rounds back then. 15 rounds? Yeah, yeah the same for everyone. Yeah. 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 Anyone who'd do the same if it was 15 rounds or five rounds, it'd be the same because and it's everybody kind of there for, they're going to do it. Yeah, 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 you yeah. do what, whatever's. You turn your training to what you're going to do on fight night. So, mm. you know, um, yeah, it's a different ball game obviously back then, but now it's a bit more. And they got a lot more, what would we say, like, a lot of more safety now. Like, we do brain scans, we do all of these different things, whereas back then I don't think it was really like that. The gloves now are a bit different, you know, certain yeah. brands. Oh, yeah, like, the construction of gloves is completely different, isn't it? Literally. Like well, it's a bit different now, you've got degrees and everything. Yeah. 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 Three years in the university. Hang on, couldn't get my head around it. I do that when I was in Liverpool, I wouldn't have been a boxer. I wouldn't have stayed in the university. Can't get my head around it. A broken hand, this is John. There's a rumour going around that you would fight him with a broken hand? Yeah, yeah, that when I brought in it. Well, yeah, when During I, the fight. In America, yeah, yeah when I beat uh, 10 round, third, three, third round. I said, my right hand, I broke my hand, I went back to the corner. I said, George, I broke my right hand. Yeah, I said, uh, what should I do? He said, use your left. <laughs> Simple, though. It's the same thing you say, isn't it? There's going to be a time when you're going to have to show that fight, isn't you? In the fight. So yeah, if it was a different opponent, it was harder than opponents. So it was out of 10 round yeah. going up, you know. Yeah. It was a tougher opponent, I wouldn't have survived it, you know, we had to pull out. But uh, no, it was okay. No disrespect to the opponent, but uh, yeah. Willie Taylor, I think it was the guy, his name was. But it was all right, yeah, because you could get, get away with it, you know, just with me left, yeah. 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 And I'm learning, I'm learning. I'm still, yeah. a, still a student, just oh, yeah, yeah. taking away, learning the craft, and I'm just getting my head around it, coming to grips with everything. I mean, we're in the town now where everything's evolving, especially on boxing, on apps now. Don't go watch it on the app. Um, but they're doing it now on TVs, BT Sports, Sky Sports. Everyone loves it. Yeah. Everything, everything's evolving yeah. nowadays. Yeah. Everything's changing, so you just got got to adapt with the times. So. And would you just keep your lifeline with uh, your trainer, your coach? That's yeah, yeah, he's on me every day. Yeah. Um, I don't reply to all his messages, but he's on me every day. <laughs> yeah, every day. Just, every day. Yeah, so they know. They know what's they going on. They're going on the to fight. Just definitely. That's why we. I don't. I mean, if they ask me to take any fight, I'll take the fights now. Um, but obviously, we have got managers and whatnot, and we have got promoters and the coaches. They're the ones that kind of just say what fights to take, what fights not to take, and these are the things we go for. Like my opponent now on the weekend was not our. We didn't want him. We had opponents that were undefeated. We was going for people that was ranked way higher in the world rankings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was at what 15th in the pecking order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's 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 that it's, it's that point now where people either want way too much money. Or they just don't want the fight. Yeah. So again, you know, I mean, that's that's a little bit of the of the modern uh, the modern way of boxing, where everyone wants to protect an unbeaten record, or you know, they're far too worried about losing a fight rather than actually getting in there and becoming a better fighter for the experience. Which actually, back in John's day, was a little bit. It, it wasn't quite like that. People were more, yeah, I'll, I'll fight. Yeah. You know, obviously, it was a different era back then. There was only one champion. So. You know, you'd have you'd have fights that would be final eliminators or eliminators for titles. That now those would be title fights. Yeah. So it was, a, it was a little a little different, as David said a little while ago. It's a different era. Mm. Um, but yeah, look, getting opponents is always hard. I mean, even on big bills like this, you'd think there'd be fighters falling over themselves to come and fight at Wembley Stadium. After Saturday, they will be. They'll be all potential. Well, they'll, they'll be falling they'll over. Be after, on Saturday, they'll be falling <laughs> over. But yeah, you think you think be. fighters are big. Literally, like queuing up, saying, "I'll take that fight. I'll yeah. take that fight." And but there is surprisingly, they're not. It's great what David said. He says uh, about busy, you know, because you're being busy. Busy yeah. fight. He said, "Busy." George used to say to me, "Busy fighters are the best fighters. You're laying in and in, 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 yeah. exactly at the same that. time." Yeah. So I've got to pick that up when you said that. Yeah, yeah, you said yeah. you want to be Active busy, keep possible. fighting. Just keep fighting. I mean, if it was done to me, I'd fight every month, every two months. Great, yeah. But um, you know, it's obviously with the way it's what I'm going to control and the way it's set up. You need certain 
gaps between certain fights and whatnot. But um, they can't you, fold you, Dice. They can't fold you. Yeah. Yeah. But you judge it. <laughs> yeah. But your coach, you judge yeah, yeah. it that you should when you should be fighting to keep fit. Fight yeah. fit. Yeah. Yeah. As well. So like, Not just we've, got, we've got dates penciled in already for the next couple of months. We kind of know when we're going to be fighting this year yeah. and whatnot. So we kind of tailor the training camps to yeah. whatever dates um, are penciled in. But we can never take that as hundred percent because. I mean, I'm fighting April 23rd, but I was penciled in for, to be 1st of March, then I was penciled in to be mid-April and then end up happening late uh, April. Uh, when was your last fight? Was November. November last November, year, yeah. yeah. Oh, Obviously, mid -November. so this year, this year was, a, I can't say an anomaly after the last two years that we had with COVID, but this year, British boxing basically completely shut down in January and February. Yeah. The border control didn't allow any shows at all. So had that not been the case, we would have probably been out in March. Yeah. And then... Mm. probably another three or four more times this year yeah, so again yeah. just having that sort of every sort of two and a half to three months which yeah. is what we've had up until this point um so yeah hopefully like touch wood we get through this with no issues no knocks or bangs or hand issues yeah uh, and then look to get out again in another two or three months time after that but again like kind of different to your era where people was fighting with a lot more regularity yeah um I am lucky as a trainer that he's not the type to go away. He don't smoke, don't drink, you know, don't abuse his body. So we've not got to no, do, no, no. we've not got to do, exactly. We've not got to do six weeks of getting weight off him when he gets back into camp. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, there's this modern thing now where everyone wants three months to get ready for a fight. They'll want 12 week training camps. Yeah. If anything, that's, I mean, that's way too long for us. Kind that's of good, yeah. six, seven, yeah. six, seven yeah. weeks and we're absolutely ready. And, and, it, and, and actually, probably even quicker than that. I mean, if we was offered a four week turnaround after this fight, it's like, yeah. no problem. Yeah. You know. That's good, yeah. It's probably good. a two week turnaround, we, you know. You just want to stay active. Yeah, because you, you got, uh, you got spot on, you're learning and learning. Yeah. You know, activity is, yeah. Fight, fight, fight. is a problem. So you see so many good fighters and because they're inactive, it doesn't play in their favour. You know, um, yeah, so stay active. Was you your degree in business studies? Yeah, business yeah. studies. And then um, in my final year, I picked up sport. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I was just learning it. I was, I was boxing then as well. I was, I was doing the amateurs. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I was doing boxing and. And that really studying. helps with the outside, the business, the money. Yeah, definitely. Because I kind of know this. I know the business of boxing already. So, going into negotiations or doing certain things is always in our favour. So. Uh, what about like taxes and all that? You, that comes under with your yeah, studies. Was that, your stu was that within your studies? <laughs> the tax man's looking and watching this. I'm broke. Yeah, no money. But I'm saying, yeah, it sounds like a good account. <laughs> yeah. When he's got a good manager, he broke me down yeah. on the negotiations for his sponsorship. Yeah, no, it's yeah. good, it's good. Like, yeah, with the tax really stuff, I know that. Yeah, yeah, because you've, you've studied it, haven't you? have studied it, so you, you yeah. kind of know it all anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, and I've got, like I said, I've got good people around me, so I think I'm in safe hands and I'm guided well, so. Yeah. I just listen to them. And I've got to listen to the people that do it before me, because at the end of the day, it's, They've been there, done that. So yeah, I was just thinking about your sounds. Great, you like delegation. You know, you sound like you, when you should do it, people around you, let them take care of that. Yeah, exactly. That just just their talents. They know what yeah. they're doing. Oh, it's just, oh, oh, it has to be that way, doesn't it? I mean, a little cliche saying that I've come out with: if you want a brick wall built, get a brick layer. Yeah, yeah. If you want your accountant done, get a good accountant. You know, you want a wall painted, don't get the accountant to paint the wall. Get the right man in for the job. Yeah. And it, it's the same. I mean, even down to the, the boxing training. You know. You want strength and conditioning done, you get a strength and conditioning coach. You don't get your boxing coach. Uh, again, a little bit sort of that. That's where I think things have changed over the years. Um, I can show you how to lift up a weight, but I can't correct your form properly. I can't. I can't do it as a as I need to do it. So you get the right man in for the job, um, yeah. and that and that bleeds into all other areas of of like his life and career. You get the right people in for the job, and then it's still down to the individual sitting on the boxing side of it. But like you're allowed to. Uh the house to be built. Yeah, yeah. So you got all the different professionals, you know. Mm -hmm. You gotta get the house built and yeah. then maintain it. Mm -hmm. You get you get it built and then you're you know, defending the title. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You yeah. Know, different levels in the right up to yeah. the greatest. Yeah. Like Muhammad Ali's area, if you there's all these levels, you know, winning the title, defending defending the most the greatest and then these all these different challenges if yeah, you wanna yeah. pursue yeah. that, you know. And that's the dialogue again with your coach, keeping that mm -hmm. dialogue with your coach would be very powerful. Definitely. For what it was like at the beginning, just keep that you get up there. Yeah. And, and, you know, man, you, you know, business, man, your business study, you know about that, the, the discipline.
delegation and listening to the, like you just described it, the different uh, mechanics yeah. Uh, yeah. doing the job yeah. to, to, to build a house. I've got a question for you, John. So, when you was fighting, did you see doctors leading up to the fights and stuff? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, well, it was a border control doctor, wasn't it? What do you mean, seeing so like, doctors? For instance, now I've got, so I'm going to see the doctor on the way in Friday. Yeah. I've got to go through a whole different scale thing enough to check my ears, eyes, nose, heart rate, yeah. my hands. Did you have to do that in your time as well? Uh, no, we just seen them on the day the doctor checked you, you know, with the, yeah. he's, he's still alive. Yeah, 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 yeah he's yeah. breathing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, didn't he? Yeah, uh, it, 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 yeah no, that's it. Yeah, and the, yeah, yeah, different things, your eyes and whatever they, I don't know, because I don't know what they're looking for, the doctors, aren't they? But they just say, yeah, you're all right, no, thanks so much, we're in. Yeah. Uh, but it sounds like now it's more, a lot more. Yeah, right like now, I think now it's a lot more intricate, so we do different things, like, obviously we've got to do our brain scans, our blood tests, eye tests, ears, and we do everything, but yeah. leading into every fight as well, we've got to, after the weigh-in, and see the doctor, they got to... I think that, that would have still been the same in, jo in John's era. You'd have, you'd have had like an on the day medical. Oh yeah, yeah, on the day medical, yeah. Then you have your on the day, but obviously and brain afterwards. scans and stuff like that, they never had to do that. I think the British Boxing Board of Control is the only boxing board that do brain scans. In America, you don't have to do a brain scan. No, you don't have to do them in Australia. There's, there's a few places that you don't yeah. have to do them, which is crazy. It's crazy. I'm, I'm on the way to come here with a scouse one man, and there are other ones. But the scans are... I suppose it's good though that the first person to control tickets. So yeah, yeah, Sa safety is paramount, isn't it? It's a dangerous sport. Yeah, that's their biz. Yeah, that's their. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. all the system, and yeah. they know what yeah. they're doing. Yeah, and they set it up, and then we do the fine. You're you, you're doubly in a way because you're experienced with your uh, academic stuff and the study yeah. of that. Yeah. You're in great shape. Yeah. You got your to handle all that as well, and then you know what you just said about the doctors and uh, doing all that. That's yeah. the that you go along with it. Too. And it's good to go along with it, isn't it? You, what's your answer to your question? What would you say? Oh, what, it's all good stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it is all good stuff. Well, I mean, the, the medical and all that you mentioned. Yeah, right? yeah, definitely. I think it's good because at the end of the day, there's so many people that are probably in well and they're putting their lives on the line by going into the ring to fight. Yeah. So, um, well, let's mention one of them, Muhammad Ali, Larry Holmes. I mean, that fight should never have taken Joe place. Joe Nigel Ben, I mean, yeah. we, apparently Joe McClendon was really injured going into that fight from sparring. He was doing heavy, heavy sparring. So, um, obviously, yeah, Nigel Ben didn't help him and he went and boxed. But it wasn't his Michael fault. Michael Watson, who you introduced yeah. me to. So, what would you say the authorities would say? Say, you've made, we've just made these statements. I'd they would say, well, they were doing the best they could at the time. At the time, yeah. I mean, like I was saying, you have to learn how to adapt with the times. So I think you know, we've all now with all this technology, we've like brain scans, MRI scans, and um, all these things, it makes it easier to kind of, you know, um, detect these detect things problems and see if there's any problems yeah. going into fights. So they can always call off, and the British Boxing yeah. Control are very strict. So yeah, they, they don't they don't leave room for no errors. So credit to them for doing their job, but yeah, I think that's what it is. It comes down to. You have to be stripped. Yeah, yeah. It's a dangerous sport in itself. Yeah, yeah, and it's all covered, and then as long yeah. as it's still there, allow it to go on. That's well, that's it. You've got opportunities, and you've got the talent. Something's within you. I always, I used to do football, uh, uh, athletics, and boxing. Other guys, different uh, martial arts, and all that, or different. Somewhere along the line, they'll choose. Bang! That's it's going to be there with me. It was boxing. Yeah, I'll do the boxing. You know, someone will do the Muay Thai. You know. Or, the, or different types of fighting, you know, taekwondo, whatever it is, a martial arts, I was just saying. It must be, mustn't it? There's something in there that says, oh, I'll do it, this is what I want to do. Yeah. And that's great, it's great that they've got the platform then to do it. It's been set up in the organisations, their talents, you know, the organisation, the people who run it and all these things. Yeah, they've got the vehicle to do it. And if it's socially accepted and it's a legal thing, well, great, let's do it, yeah. Do you miss it, John? No, no, no I will be in here chatting to about it. You've got younger people now coming all the time. It's there, but it's there. You know, so I'm involved in like just being here. It's great, it's being part of it. As we're all, it's like a team. This is all like the media, the whatever, the, the whatever's around. It's all the business. It's all a team, isn't it? In a yeah. sense. And uh, yeah. the bottom line, whether you're going to see the football or whatever it is, uh, I won't mention West Ham. But uh, <laughs> scars. <laughs> what's he on? What's he on about now? <laughs> Did we win the other day, Liverpool? I think we did. Yeah, I think you did, yeah. I think you did. You always win. So we're through to the final, are we? 
But you don't miss Chelsea. the big lights? No, no, no. No, that was fantastic at the time. I'm, this is great to be here. Just talking about you even asking me that question. It'd be wonderful to be part of it, isn't it? And you're looking back and you're being Very involved in it. And you're still in it with the, you know, people, the, 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 David, the yeah. young people, strong, the whole team. And you bring in new stuff and yeah. developing it. Yeah. And all these different ways you can have a vehicle to, to fight. And the difference, like the weight divisions, it used to be just eight weight divisions, full, full stones. Then they brought the half stones in. Then all the different versions of the title. Yeah. And then the business people are there to see the opportunity to that, and to uh, give the it gives you a chance to win a version of the title and make money, and uh, you know express you know, the challenge and all that for the, for the individual. And some go greater, the greatest become undisputed champions and all that. Do you miss it? It's the box. Not, not in the slightest. <laughs> not in the slightest. Sometimes you do when you when you're ringside and you're watching a bit of sparring up close. Yeah. You think. I'd love to have to go that again, yeah. and then you realise how painful you remember how painful it is getting punched in the belly or you know yeah. taking one on the end of the nose or on the ear. I mean, you're it, in the hurt no. business. Yeah. It's the hurt business, isn't it? Yeah. I always say it, it's all kind of. I mean, I can't imagine it for someone that friend. They ain't done it for God knows how many years. But if you was here back in the day to get and get here, it would be like a whoa. Oh, that's what it feels like. Yeah. Because there's times when I don't spar for two, three months, and then I get in the ring, and then I'm by the end of like the sixth round, I'm like. Yeah, I forget what it feels like. Yeah. Well, I forget what it's. Yeah. So your first spar back is always different to your last spar because you're used to it, or your heart rate's used to it. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I remember saying to you when we, we sparred, I was sparring and I was like, oh man, I forgot what it was like taking punches, and and that was only after two, three months. You kind of forget what so it's like. Being it. But you just get used to it again, and it's good because you tick over, you tick over, and by the end of camp, you're like, yeah, this is what it's like. Tyrone reminds people here at Box Centric what it's like to be hit. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I get I get hit all the time. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> As a coach, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, all, it's it's amazing. It's amazing what your body gets used to. Yeah, you know what you what you toughen up. To, you know, the, the kind of the kind of punishment that that the top level fighters go through on a daily basis mm. over a you know a period of however many weeks. Mm. The, the hard competitive sparring. I mean. You know, some of the, some of the rounds that get completed in gyms with big gloves and head guards on would never ever continue had they been in fight scenarios with little gloves on and no head guards. Mm -hmm. So you're seeing people taking repeated shots, and it's just it's it's, it's, it's there's one word to describe it. It's brutal. It's absolutely brutal. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a it's a brutal sport. It's beautiful as well, yeah, but yeah. it's it's, it's, it's brutal. beautiful. The people are controlling it. They're, they're the coaches, yourself, and that. Yeah, yeah. They're, it's just getting them to a level. Uh, completely. completely. Yeah. I mean, I'm too heavy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm I'm not I'm yeah. I'm one of those. I I I hate that sort of cliche when people say, "Oh, you pay to watch that sparring." I don't want that. I don't, no. I, don't, I don't want people to pay to watch sparring. It's sparring. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's but it, it can get to that point, though. As soon as it gets to that yeah, yeah, point, yeah, yeah, the coach yeah. can step in and say, well, yeah. that's... Yeah. Which is great, because you're getting to the... Certainly, you're getting closer to the yeah. night of the fight, or, you know, when you get in the air, he's ready. Yeah, get to the get, get to the pitch. And you start fighting. Then they start ten. then they start toning the crown, or yeah. two yeah. weeks or whatever it is. Uh -huh. We did two weeks a week. Cut we, down from... We, yeah, we cut we yeah. down. We've we done our last fight uh, on Friday. Thursday, sorry. Thursday last week. Yeah. Um, so we're sort of like nine days out from the fight. We've done our last one. Yeah. Um, usually we, we'd normally finish sort of a week before, uh, but obviously we was up in Fury's camp and he finished nine days before. So nah, he finished on Tuesday. Tyson stops by on Tuesday. Yeah. Which was what's that? Eleven days before. Eleven the days. Fight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I went on and sparred on Thursday. I still I sparred two to uh, one American guy and a Scottish guy. So the drums were both of them on the Thursday, and then yeah, that was the last of my spot. He so. see, but he started stop stop on eleven days before. The he day. stopped sparring on the Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. His last spot was a Tuesday. My last spot was a Thursday. Yeah. Do you spar with him in mind? Your opponent in mind? Do, do you have you visualised them? You've seen them. You know who you. <coughs> yeah. Mm. What goes through your yes mind? Yes and no, because we're not sparring. Does it go through your mind? We're not sparring. You look at certain things like oh, my opponent could do that, but. I mean, at the end of the day, the person I'm in with is is different to the person I'm sparring with. So I don't want to kind of go in there and try to work on something specifically based for my opponent, mm -hmm. um, because you will get punched in the mouth. So you just got to kind of go in there. And Flo Miller was the man that always said it like, a great fact, learn how to adapt. Because if you keep going in there looking for a certain style, or looking for a certain thing, you'll find that you're going to get surprised if they don't do what you're what you're looking for. So uh, you've got to go in and fight that and just learn how to adapt. Because mm. I don't know 
my opponent's distance. Yeah. What his distance is like, I don't know what his speed's like, I don't know what his power's like. So I'll just go in and, and learn how to adapt. But um, I think what separates me from the others is I don't really care. I mean, great like, answer. Realistic, I don't really care. Yeah, you sure you take all the information in, you've got all the information. Well, they suck it all and up then and you just, that's it. And then do my data collecting, but when it's all said and done, it's like, we're going to be fighting anyways. So, just things like getting used to the, maybe his distance and, oh, okay, so this is what the distance is like, or this is where he likes to throw his shots from, or this is what his timing's like, or, you know, just doing certain things, or I might throw certain shots just to see how he's going to react. Just to just to see it, all right, and this is what he's open up for. So, um, like now, I don't really know much about my, my opponent on Saturday, realistically, because I think the more I look into it, the more, like I was saying, I'm going to start looking for certain things. And if I go in on fight and I'm looking for certain things and he doesn't do it, yeah, yeah, then I won't really have no answers. So I just go in and fight anyways. In the amateurs, I didn't know who I was fighting until an hour before my fight. Mm. They told me you're fighting. We're going way in. I'll see another heavyweight. I'm like, yeah, he's a lump. It must be him fighting. I didn't know if he was South or All Flops. Yeah, yeah. Until the first bow went. And then you learn how yeah, to yeah, adapt yeah. and learn how to, you know, um, see how people, mm. you know, react to certain things. So, I mean, he does all the, the research and the homework and he just says to me, Dave, this is what I want you to do. This is not what I want you to do. Or, you know, and these are the positions you should be in, you shouldn't be in. So. Yeah. That feeds back into what we said earlier on about that constant line of communication between yeah. us. Yeah. Even sort of in the heat of a fight, I'll shout something out and he'll answer me back. Um, and not, you know, you're not like, all right, mate, yeah, no, I'll, yeah. I'll do that. It's you're still focused yeah. on what you're doing. Um, but it's it's good that we can have that kind of level of communication even during the heat of a fight. Um, yeah, when do you get to test the canvas? Oh, literally when we get to the venue. So when we on get the to day. the venue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, 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 on the No, when I'm in front of the cameras on fight nights, when mm -hmm. test it. I don't go in beforehand. And certain people do go in before the, the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it depends. Certain people do, and um, for me, it doesn't really matter. You know, um, sometimes it's good to learn, though, because obviously we know the problem that Tyson had with Klitschko when they went to fight. Mm -hmm. He tested the cameras a couple hours before, and the cameras was way spongier than they expected, which would have played against Tyson because. Him dancing around would have been like moving around in sand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would have been yeah. way too soft for him. It would have been, he would have had dead legs by the, by the time he got into like halfway through the fight. So I suppose it does it does help you. But um, in terms of me, it's all right. I'm not really the main event, so them sort of things ain't really made to, to be a disadvantage to me, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Is it a 10 rounder? I'm no, we're, we're, we're fine on yeah, 8 yeah, rounder, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 It should, again, touch wood. Should be our last eight round. Or I, I was just going to say, has it always been eight rounds up to now, or was it? Yeah, no, no, sure. yeah, 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 no, no, no. So we obviously at the beginning it was a, it wasn't four rounds. Yeah, or, yeah, it was, it was a four, it was yeah. four, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so, the, uh, so we've done a few four rounders, then a couple of six rounders, and with the last fight was an eight rounder. This yeah. should be the last eight rounder. Yeah. Um, I mean, again, like I don't think any pro should ever do four rounds, but that's. But did you do, and did, you, did you go the eight? Uh, no, 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 any? we've, no, we've, 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 we've never done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've, we've, done, we've, we've had one fight and went six. Yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, they've all been, they've all been relatively early first, second. Third it went, round. Yeah, but that was the six was inside eight. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. no, 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 no the six was the six. Oh, yeah, the six. Yeah, yeah. The points. Yeah, yeah. So what? What was eight and I were seven knockouts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eight and I, yeah, eight and I seven knockouts. So we've. With nine, nine and six yeah, yeah, knockouts. Nine and nine, nine, nine. What comes out of it? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 seven, yeah. yes, you know. Yeah. What I mean. And then, it's like, hopefully, 10 round the next time out. Possibly, like, possibly an area title, possibly English title, some, some you know, some some kind of minor title on the line. What would um, you be aiming for first, the British title? Go yeah, I, 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 well, yeah, yeah, for me, it would be a British. I think it would be good to win a British title. Um, I mean, no disrespect to the other titles, but I don't really. I mean, they're just a bit. Don't no point winning the Southern Airborne, no point winning the English, just give me the British and then from the British learn yeah. Commonwealth, Europeans, Worlds. And, but, um, and get the Lonsdale belt. Yeah, exactly that. If you, it's, four, so you got a, it's four fights, isn't it? Uh, it it's four now, yeah. yeah. Always, it, it used, used to be three, three. now yeah. it's four, yeah. Yeah, I think the ball wanted to save a few quid on uh, yeah. on weighing out to, uh, to supply people the belts. But yeah. yeah, I mean, again, look, as far as I'm concerned, all of, all of those titles, be it the Southern area, be it the English, all they are really, if you've got your, your, your sights set on, on higher things, 
is getting you used to doing the rounds and getting you used yeah. to doing the championship distances, which again, I mean, obviously slightly different in your era because it was 15 as opposed to 12. But well, it's great with the tails though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever they are, exactly. sort of the area, this exactly. area, whatever, it's wonderful because you're going to be fighting anyway. There's a title involved, isn't it? Exactly. You're, you know, it's just terrific and you're moving up, moving yeah, up until yeah, you get the yeah, big yeah. ones. You yeah. know, the, yeah. the Commonwealth, the British, the European, the world, yeah, yeah. the titles. And yeah. But, I mean, in... People, a lot of people say about the traditional route, you know, British, Commonwealth, European yeah, yeah, world. Yeah. If if the, if 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 the opportunities present themselves along the way, great. Yeah. If they don't, then you know, you just go with whatever the opportunity is at the time. I see, it's my own mind. I'm actually see that because I I didn't get one, you know, uh, twice. Yeah. Uh, Chris Finnegan, then I relinquished it uh, long ago. Yeah, so I didn't get one outright, you know. So yeah. I relinquished it to go and fight for the world title, you know. But now I think now I would have. But in the beginning, you didn't win the, the yeah, yeah, Commonwealth. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Commonwealth, Commonwealth European. You've got to win all the titles, but it's just I'm saying to get the uh, belt as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Long. What, what, when uh, you win the British title, so uh, John won the British title. If he'd have defended it twice, twice, they would have presented yeah, him with a belt. And, keep, if that, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, Rather than if you, if you win it and then you know. Uh, vacate it to go and fight for another title. You don't yeah, get to yeah, keep yeah. the belt. It's not yours. Yeah, to go yeah. back you got to fight then. You got to back yeah, to yeah, another yeah. three fights. So there's it? like, I mean, Henry Cooper famously won three Lonsdale belts out yeah, right. So yeah. you know, at some point, he's got three British title belts on his on his wall yeah. at home. Um, and there's a lot of. It. I actually was just going to ask you then, like at the time, yeah. you was obviously thinking about bigger and, and better things. Right, yeah. I'm going to go and fight for the world title. But now you're saying that with the benefit of hindsight. Yeah. You would have rather a British Oh, yeah, but hindsight 2020 vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hindsight yeah, 2020 yeah. vision. So I'm not just saying that, I've said that what I've said, the 2020 vision, you know. Uh, but I'm just saying about someone else who's coming along now. You yeah, know? That's yeah. what I definitely would have yeah. uh, uh, done. Yeah. You know? But I don't regret it because, you know, you do what you do and that's it. You know? And also, you're letting your management and your trainers do all that, you know, and they pick up on that. Yeah. I think also they pick up on the individual where your head is, like, you know, maybe you want to drive forward to get the title quick and all that. Yeah, they pick up on that side of us, you know, and maybe it's, uns it's unsaid then. Yeah. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas if I was involved in the business now, I'd, get, I'd open that up. Yeah. I'd open it up and I'd say, Dad, well, what, you know, what do you feel? Yeah. You know, what do you think? What do you want to really do? Uh, any fears, anxieties, worries that could prevent doing that, you know, and open that up. That's a, just a close, yeah. with your people, you know, your dialogue of it. Whereas the trainers know it anyway, they pick it up. The coaches know your, your psyche anyway, in a yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. But um, now you're going about it. Did you win? Did you beat Finnegan at Twice. Wembley? Yeah, to, uh, at Wembley. Yeah, Wembley. Yeah. Def defended it, and if I would have defended again one more, I would have won it out. Right? Was that was that Empire Court? Was Empire that? Bill Wembley, ten thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It used Wembley, to be Empire Wembley, now Wembley yeah, Arena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you guys are on the football pitch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah How yeah, many will yeah. be there? Uh, well, they, they've, they've sold 94,000 tickets, but obviously, yeah. depending yeah, on yeah. where we are on the bill, there could be 20,000, there could be 40,000 in there, there could be, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. But 90,000? 90, 94,000, yeah. 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 Fantastic. Crazy. Yeah. 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 I was yeah. happy with the 10. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Empire Bill, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. And they, yeah, they're still great. Ben Alley being involved with that. Not a great experience, but those, um, and, uh, yeah, but I was at the convention centre at Las Vegas. Uh, I think the same was about 10,000, 12,000 or so. But uh, so you guys are going in. You've got the tax yeah. to prove yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I got it into my skin a few years ago just to see Charlie Jr. with the box in front of He's got a, he's got a tattoo on his arm at yeah. Wembley Stadium. Yeah. And a kid with a boxing gloves. Yeah. 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 Y
Never go over the river, that's the long, 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 street and long, 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 on Saturday. Pleasure, Paul. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. And I appreciate it. talking yeah. to you as well at the same time. Yeah. So it's an yeah. honour to speak to you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to see you. Good to mate. Yeah. Paul, it's all the yeah. coaches here. Thank you. Okay, let's. Thanks, thanks for inviting me down. Pleasure, Frank. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>